Howdy there, Corey Jensen, Wind Power Sports here in Las Vegas, baby. We're gonna we have a three meter uh, ozone samurai to fly for you right now. I've staked my handles out and I've laid out my line set. Kite is still in the bag. This allows me to do all my setup by myself without anybody's assistance. With the lines laid out and the handles secured, remove the kite from the bag. Exposing the leading edge to the wind, and you let it inflate. When the kite sits on the ground, a little bit of back pressure on the bottom of the handles keeps the brakes on, keeps the kite stable. Launches are very simple. The kite sits on the ground, a little bit of bottom pressure on the handles keeps the brakes on. When you're ready to launch, pull on the tops. The kite takes off. To land it, you just bring it over to the area that you want to put it down in, hit the bottoms and the kite lands. The other thing that you learn in getting into traction kiting and power kiting is how to fly the kite without looking at it. It's not a matter of using your imagination or a mental image, a visual image in your mind. It's really about detailing tactile inputs so that your eyes are free to plot your course and not looking at the kite and where you had been. So you learn to fly by touch. You can feel where the kite is and you can feel where the kite is going.